A Brisbane school has withdrawn a controversial enrolment contract which described homosexuality as a sin and forced students to identify with their birth gender. His reporter Jessica Rendell in Brisbane. The school's principal, Pastor Brian Mulheron, sent an email out to parents this morning apologising for the discrimination that some students might have felt as a result of that contract. He also maintains that the school does not and will not discriminate against students for their sexuality and gender identity. The letter went on to say that being gay or transgender doesn't diminish a person's humanity or dignity in God's eyes. Now, this is, of course, despite that contract initially denouncing homosexuality. It put it in the same category as bestiality and pedophilia and also required students to identify with their birth gender if they wanted to enrol at the school or remain a student at the school. Now that letter does of course go on to say that it promises to consult families next time any amendments will be made to that enrolment contract. So Jess tell us about the backlash the school has been facing over the last few days over this. Yeah, so Ros, the backlash has been pretty fierce. There was a, uh, a, a survey online, a, a petition that garnered more than 150,000 signatures. A teacher resigned from the school. There were students that had pulled out of the school. Previous students also spoke out about their experiences at City Point Christian College. Some said that they were told they would burn in hell for being gay. Others said that they felt like they were being ostracised and also felt like they couldn't be themselves at the school. Now, the Human Rights Commissioner actually issued a warning to the college when that contract initially came out. And Queensland's Attorney General and Education Minister Grace Grace both had very, very strong comments about this contract. The Education Minister actually spoke about this at the press conference this morning. Here's what she had to say. Can I welcome that? I called for that on a number of occasions this week. And can I um, um, obviously urge in the interests of the mental welfare of students, staff, parents and carers and in the public interest that they abandon these contracts and that they never resurface again? Now, the non-state schools accreditation board were actually due to have a meeting today to discuss whether or not that contract breached a requirement that all students be treated equally. But of course, now that that has been revoked, that meeting will no longer be going ahead. Roz. Jess, thank you.